Hey YouTube, welcome to another solo survival rifle challenge, uh, triple edition this time. I've got two other guys turning up, Chris and Phil, with their creations, and the challenge is that you survive for one night with the clothes on your back and your survival rifle. That's it. Uh, so for myself, I've got my bush shirt, rain jacket, bean dog, and survival rifle, same old, with the new additions that I've put on it. So once these guys turn up, I'll get them to take you through what they've done and we will get into it, see who survives, see who doesn't. Uh, if you enjoy this, please like, share and subscribe, comment. Yeah, I'm Scott and this is Solo Edge. Enjoy. Okay, so you've got that all laid out there. You want to take us through it? Okay, so I start off with the chipper little badger, 22 LR caliber um, portable rifle, breakdown. I have paracord on the front and rear, 550. Uh, there's approximately 20 feet on the rear and 15 on the front. Um, I have an additional ammunition holder on the front rail here and a Bushnell red dot sight and a mounting point for a single point sling. Um, on the rear is the factory ammunition holder so the, the capacity I can carry on this rifle is 20 rounds. Next I have the um, molly pouch that everything fits into. Uh, the single point sling, a quick detach bipod, light and suppressor a knife with a sh uh, medium grain honing stone to be able to sharpen it. I have an emergency sleeping bag, shelter, and a emergency blanket, toilet paper because it's always handy, a additional light for a headlamp and spare batteries, a saw for obviously firewood and whatnot, um, a rubbish bag, tin foil, a steel plated reflective mirror, a small grill, 20 rounds of ammunition, uh, I also have this whistle and with this whistle I have a compass, a thermometer and it also has get it out, the uh, magnifying glass which could come in handy. I have a small multi-tool with all its various attachments inside. I have a small amount of cooking oil, a vivid um, for my fire lighting, I have a fire light, uh, the Bic lighter, matches, and fire lighting material. A coffee, this coffee is always good in the morning. A collapsible stainless steel cup, and a very limited first aid kit, which consists of three band aids and two Nurofen. Cool man, so that all fits on your rifle, eh? And should keep you sheltered, warm, and fed for a night. That's the plan. <laughs> Okay, good stuff. And here's Chris with his creation. Okay mate, talk us through it. Well, um, we've got a, a Chiabata bread 22 cut down to, um, well it took about four inches off the barrel and then suppressed. Um, added a, the pistol grip, Atlas bipod in the front, um, nice cheek riser, um, a bunch of paracord about 20-25 feet and then um, the various bits and pieces that go in this X suppressor cover. Um, so we've got our EC Azula 2, um, compass, some ammo, uh, a Nightcore torch which is good for 1000 lumens, um, we'll be sleeping under or in um, our emergency blanket. We've got uh, extra LED LED torches for around the camp campsite, uh, wire saw uh, and our, our fire fire gear with um, sealed tinder and of course the survival whistle. Cool man, what caliber? Uh, this one's in 22 Magnum, reamed out from 22 LR. Nice, so that should be enough for you to stay uh, fed? Yeah, we should be pretty healthy for uh, at least a week, I'd say. Warm and dry and all that stuff, all right, we'll see. Cool, let's get into it. Cheers, mate. On your marks, get set, survive.
Okay, here is my shelter for the night. Not much wind at all, so it should be fine. What I've done is I've just reinforced the corners with the electrical tape, poked a hole through, and it seems to be holding just fine. Got the same over in the corner here, and just some sticks for tent pegs. See how I go with that. And if I come over here a little way, I don't know where Phil is, but this is his shelter, so he has, oh, this is rifle, he won't be far away. That looks like Phil's shelter for the night. I am gonna, well, I can't wait until I see him in that, actually. It doesn't look very big. Might be a bit of humour. <laughs> but, in saying that, if I look over here, ha, huh, looks like Phil will be eating tonight. Nice. Oh, here he is. Oh, reminds me of Commando. Nice, mate. I think that's better than my little saw. Let's try these matches. I've used the paper label from the survival blanket. There's a bit of tinder there and some rubber from the scope that I've wrapped around the scope. While well, Phil's sawing away in the background, he's definitely doing better than me with that huge saw that he's got. Ah. Oh. Let's try a red one. Phil's done well with that big saw. What do you got on there, mate? That's that fire lighter material. I should hopefully catch. Nice fireplace. Cheers. What is not in the best condition, seeing as how we've had a heap of rain in the last few days. But uh, yeah, I'm having to nurse mine continually. All right, let's go. Good stuff. Well, camp is set up, and I've got my surf and my turf. That's the first sea creature my rifle's ever caught. Alright, so I'll cook those up and get into the night.
Now I don't know where Chris is, but it's getting dark so I thought I'd better come and find his shelter while I can still film it. He must be still out trying to find his dinner. Okay, looks like he's bushcrafted himself something. Cool. There is Chris's shelter. He hasn't got a fire yet. Oh, here's his glasses. It's Phil soaring away over there. There's his fire going. Okay, it's starting to get dark, so while I wait for my fire to burn down, I'll set up my, my sleeping area. Same as before, I've got rain jacket on the ground, bush shoot under that, and survival sleeping bag that I can crawl into. Fire's just about burned down, ready to cook on. So let's go see how the boys are doing. It's Phil's area. He's got a nice fire gun. Sleeping set up again, it's a survival rifle. And looks like he's giving Chris a hand with his fire over here. Oh, here we are. Oh, here's Phil's rabbit. Looks like he's doing a similar thing to I. To me. He's got a nice stick of firewood though. Alright. Oh, here we go. Turned up at just the right time. a nice bit of wood you found there. I know, someone cut it for me. Yeah. Pretty dried and everything. Nice. Must have been loggers. Yeah. Where's your dinner? Uh, just there. The rabbit, um, well it struggled so it's not the prettiest. Surf and turf. Right, so here we got some some cotton wool, which are soaked with a bit of methylated spirits. Make life a bit easier. I see you got the ferro rod. Yep, the old ferro rod. Nice fireplace. That's, I think it's great. The reflection from the, the rocks back will uh, keep me toasty. Alright, let's do this. Water. Mm, bushcraft. So what I'm doing is just applying a little bit of oil on the rabbit meat. Unfortunately I don't have any uh, herbs and spices or secret herbs and spices as, as of yet. Hopefully the uh, oil should keep the uh, moistness in it. be cold at night. Because it's going in coals. You can see, I want to wrap it as much as we can with as much thin foil as we can. So you've got a few layers just in case it does burn through any. Okay, well it's almost dark here. 
boys have, boys have settled in, everyone's managed to find something to eat at least. Light a fire and, and put a shelter up with just their rifles. Just waiting for my, my sea creature and my land creature to cook. So I'm, none of us here are survival experts, especially not me. So don't take any advice from us. Just treat this as a, as a cautionary tale, if, if anything. Just out here, having fun, doing something ridiculous. So I think we'll get together later, eat our dinner, and uh, I just know everyone wants to see Phil get into that shelter of his, eh? <laughs> And here is my bush dinner. Bit of rabbit, bit of eel. All taken with a survival rifle. A little bit true, but not too bad for a fresh rabbit. It's Chris cooking up his dinner on his fire. It's all done with your survival rifle, mate. Yeah, mate. No, she's a good, good day out. Bit of fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's the first see. time I've cooked rabbit in a long time. You gotta see if you live through the night yet. Yeah, well, it's true. I'm... Yep. Beauty. <laughs> yeah, that is no longer a tent. Cozy? Yeah, mate. Not right. quite as advertised, mate. <laughs> yeah, oh, we got your fire there. Cool, I'll see you in the morning. Yeah, mate. Don't die. <laughs> well, it's morning. We already started to rain last night, it's still raining now. The old, uh, the old shelter didn't fare too well, but it's still standing. One of the colder nights that I've had, I had to put my bush shirt on and climb back into my bag. But rifle's dry. I'm dry. Still alive. Survived. So I'm going to get up and I'll see how these other two went. Right. <laughs> Morning, mate. Hey. Still there? Still alive? Still alive. How was your night? I wouldn't say it was the best night's sleep ever, but uh, it kept me dry, kept me warm. I survived. So you got yeah. a, uh, oh you put a rubbish bag above you there, cool. Yeah, keep the rain off. Yeah. Nice, so I'm going to find Chris. Oh, Chris beat me up. How was that night mate? Uh, pretty average to be fair. <laughs> yeah. We leaked a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah, but we survived. Yeah, you did. You did survive. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, man, I reckon we pack up and yeah, have a yarn and get the hell out of here. She's a bit wet this morning. Yeah. Okay, good stuff. <laughs>